Hey, I'm David from Hybrid Racing, and in this video, we'll talk about our new K-Series thermostat housing. Our new K-Series thermostat works on both K20 and K24 uh, factory housings. So what you notice is, is when you open the box, we've got it machined out of uh, built aluminum, and it is anodized and dust black. Nice durable finish. So let me get all the pieces out here. So one of the biggest things about the thermostat housing is the fact that it can turn, it swivels. So it fits K20 and K24 engines and that way it swivels and you can position it and really in any position 360 degrees uh, to fit a lower radiator hose if you have a rear wheel drive application or something that doesn't use uh, like a factory hose then you can position it to kind of get a better angle uh, for the lower radiator hose. Um, it comes with an OEM style thermostat so this is about 172 degree thermostat that's when it's going to open. It is uh, compatible with OEM K-Series Honda thermostat, so if you want to put a lower temp in there, you can. If you want to raise it, you can. Uh, the O-ring is also included, and it comes assembled the lower half uh, just like this. Another feature is the top port, so this is threaded for like an OEM Honda coolant uh, or fan sensor switch, and you know, you can use that or you can put some other sort of temperature sensor or fan sensor or something like that. This port's available. If you want to run an AN hose or an AN radiator hose, you can do that. If you don't want to do that and you're going to run a factory radiator hose, the included fitting works great for that. So that thread's on there. And the cool thing about the swivel part is, is once this goes on, you can really rotate it, you know, all the way around if you need to. Doesn't change the way the thermostat works. It's pretty simple. It includes all the pieces you need to install it, so let's go show you how to do that. Begin the installation by removing the OEM thermostat neck. There are three millimeter bolts that hold this piece in place. Next, take the hybrid racing thermostat and remove the threaded plug. You'll have to remove that before you can slide on the mounting bracket. Once the mounting bracket's in place, you can thread it back in and then prepare to screw in the radiator hose neck. There are many ways to tighten the neck. You can use a one and one half inch crescent wrench, uh, an AN wrench, or simply cover it with a rag and tighten it with a pair of pliers. Now that the neck and the sensor plug have been tightened, prepare to install it onto the thermostat housing. Use the supplied hardware and thread these bolts loosely into the thermostat housing. Do not tighten them down, otherwise the unit will not swivel. Thread them all in and then you can position the neck as desired once that you've positioned it in the way that you want, you can then tighten all of the bolts. Lastly, torque all three bolts to 7.2 foot-pound. Once you've done that, the installation is complete. 